All right, good morning, everybody. Hello, hello. We're here for my uh, intro psych online classes. Nice to uh, be on here with you all live this week. Uh, we had some issues last week here on campus. Uh, like I mentioned in the video, which hopefully most of you watched, uh, there was a rat that chewed through the internet wire, apparently, here in the HSS building, and it caused all sorts of issues. So, <laughs> uh, keeping it exciting, because I'm here on campus, uh, I'm in my office here, and so uh, we had some problems connecting to the internet. So I'm really glad that we can go ahead and uh, do this today online. Thank you for all of you who are here with me. And uh, thank you for all of you who still did the extra credit last week and watched the video. I think it's fantastic that so many of you still took advantage of it. So uh, welcome and good morning. I hope all of you had a nice, long and relaxing weekend. We had Monday as a holiday, which was so nice. And uh, I was in Las Vegas, which was a lot of fun. My uh, seven-year-old Emma rode her first upside down roller coaster and I got to do that with her, which was great fun. And I won a couple hundred dollars playing a penny, penny slots and I ate lots of good food and it was really nice to, uh, to get away. So I hope a lot of you had a nice weekend as well and that you're feeling uh, ready to go for this week, which is already more than halfway over, hard to believe. Uh, but what we'll do today, we'll do our usual kind of thing. Uh, we'll go over some feedback from last week, a little bit about uh, the discussion that you had due last week on learning. We'll look at some of our reminders for this week, and then I'll give you the extra credit question and see if you have any questions for me. So kind of a, a usual week for us here. And if at any point um, you have questions, feel free to, of course, put those into the chat. So um, let's go ahead and go over to Canvas together and take a look at last week first. Uh, and as I mentioned, we're in week number seven. We are getting close. Next week is kind of like the halfway point of the semester. But let's go back and look at week six really quickly before we move forward. And last week we were looking at learning, which is uh, one of the more challenging uh, topics that we cover. But a lot of you did a beautiful job in the discussion and seemed to do a great job. Uh, with understanding that clip. So let's take a look at discussion number six and just uh, a few things about it. Uh, hopefully a lot of you are still watching the little videos that I made. Uh, I think that they're helpful in going through the prompts, so I hope that you're finding them helpful as well. But with this, you are watching this little clip from The Office, which is a great example of using classical conditioning in the form of a prank. And so with this one, uh, hopefully you watched the video and then you were identifying those components. Most of you did a great job identifying the US, UR, CS, and CR in the clip. Remember to always start with the conditioned stimulus. And a lot of you did that, which is fantastic. Uh, started off with the conditioned stimulus and asking yourself, what was it at the beginning of this that was meaningless that now has some meaning to it, uh, which in this case was the computer sound. Computer sound started out kind of meaningless or neutral. It became meaningful at the end. He sticks his hand out or he's expecting a mint, which means that the unconditioned response was also like sticking your hand out or expecting a mint. And the unconditioned stimulus would be being offered an Altoid or a mint in the first place. So most of you did a great job identifying those components, which is fantastic. Uh, again, this is a difficult topic. So if you um, understand it and are doing well with it, uh, definitely pat yourself on the back. Uh, a lot of you did a great job as well talking about how you could uh, use this in your life in some way with making an association between events or connecting two things together in your personal uh, academic or social life. So very nicely done on that. The biggest reason that people lost points was right here on this last bullet. Uh, a few of you talked about operant conditioning examples instead. So uh, things that inv involved like conditioning in terms of rewarding and punishing which would definitely be operant instead of classical. So um, if you did that, you lost a couple of points. Uh, a few of you didn't really elaborate, like you mentioned something, but didn't talk about it in enough detail to uh, show me that you understood it. So uh, those were the big things that people lost points on. Otherwise, as I said, a lot of you did a, a really beautiful job on this discussion. I was really happy to see how well you did. Um, continue to remember to respond to a classmate that is worth two points. So I will keep reminding you just in case, um, you know, you hear me today and you haven't heard me in the past. But re remember that these discussions are worth 15 points in total, 13 for your responses to me, and then two 
for your response to a classmate. So uh, don't forget to be doing that every single week. Uh, otherwise, uh, as I said, most of you did a great job last week. A lot of you did the extra credit question still, which was fantastic. Uh, looking at that attack of the quack clip, which is also quite entertaining. Uh, otherwise, we move on this week to chapter seven, looking at memory. Uh, but before I get there, uh, let me put this in the chat. Are there any any other questions, comments, thoughts, anything at all related to week number six? Before we take a look at uh, week number seven, just to just to make sure that everybody's feeling um, good about it before we before we move on. We'll wait just a minute just to make sure. Okay. Let me just write this down. All right, I'm not uh, seeing anything yet, but if you think of any questions or comments or anything, of course, feel free to uh, put them in the chat and I would be happy to answer it for you. Otherwise, we build on our topic of learning uh, with memory this week. So we've learned a bunch of stuff. Now we need to uh, remember it, ideally. Otherwise, it was uh, kind of maybe for nothing. So we're looking at the topic of memory. Make sure that you read chapter seven in the ebook. That's probably the first thing that you will want to do. And then you can go through the lecture on chapter seven. Uh, the first page, as always, is the objectives and summary. So feel free to listen to that or read through it. On the Beyond the Book page, a little bit about Deja Vu, kind of a, a side note and, and things beyond the book. Lots of movies in pop culture related to memory. Um, I have a couple of them listed here, along with a clip from uh, Finding Nemo, which is such a great uh, memory-related character in, uh, in Dory. Uh, then some key terms in review. Here are all the key terms that you need to know for this chapter for the next exam, which will be coming up next week. So if you wanted to start studying and preparing for that, here are the ones you could review right now as you get ready for that test. And then finally, on the last page with application, how to improve your memory and a little bit about state dependent memory and how to improve your memory. I made a little video here, uh, which may or may not be helpful, but uh, I included it here. Any videos that I put in, you probably want to watch, click on any links that are in here, explore all of it. It will only help you to understand the materials. You, of course, will also want uh, to go through and watch the lecture video that I made for you, as always. So um, here's the lecture video related to memory. This one is a Zoom link uh, because there are some outside clips in it. So make sure you're watching it, taking notes, paying attention. The materials on here will definitely appear on the exam, and this should be really helpful for you in understanding Chapter 7 and preparing for that test. Um, you also have a discussion this week, and I think this one is kind of a fun one. I hope you uh, find it to be as well. But as always, you uh, will probably want to watch my little overview video that I made for you where I go through the prompt in a little more detail. Remember to answer all of my questions along with responding to a classmate. 15 points in total, 13 for your responses to me, and two for your peer response. But with this one, what you're going to do is watch the video here and get a 28-digit sequence of letters and numbers that you will be working with for this discussion. I also give you an example of how I personally memorized it, which uh, you are more than welcome to kind of uh, build off of. But then what you'll do once you have that 28-digit sequence of letters and numbers is you're gonna answer these questions. If you needed to retain this uh, and had no way of writing it down, what would you do if you needed to remember it for a matter of seconds? Uh, and what would you do if you needed to retain it for longer, like several days or maybe even weeks? And I've given you several methods of encoding and retaining in short-term and long-term memory. I'm looking for you to reference these methods in order to receive full credit. And I want you to have a different method for if you were retaining it for a couple of seconds versus hours or days or, or weeks. You should be having a different method. They are a little bit different. And if you are, are trying to hold on to it to longer, you're probably gonna to wanna to use a different method for that. So make sure you're providing me with those specific methods from the lecture and book and explaining how you would actually hold on to it. So if you were gonna come up with a story, what is that called and what would the story be? If you were gonna put it to a song, um, what is that method called and what would the song be and how would that go? So make sure you're elaborating and giving me all that information. Then I want you to describe in detail two specific strategies that you could use to help remember content when studying for an exam. 
And then do you have any personal tips for memory that you would like to share? What are some of the things that you use in your personal life to help you remember important information? So when you're ready, you'll hit reply. And then of course you're going to want to reply to one of your classmates. So let's say I really like the way that Zach came up with the sequence. I could reply to him or Nathan, right? Or Amy, right? As you're going through, you're going to want to read through at least five of your classmates and then respond to one of them. So you're playing around with this 28 digit sequence, which I think is kind of fun. Uh, and I hope you enjoy coming up with a story or a method for how you would hold on to that. Uh, the other thing that you do have this week is the extra credit question, but otherwise it's kind of a normal week, reading the chapter in the ebook, reading through the lecture, watching the lecture video, completing the discussion, uh, and then I'll talk about the extra credit here in a second. But uh, while I am here, are there any questions at all about uh, the content for this week? Anything that um, I can answer for you related to week seven? And uh, while I'm waiting for you, I do have a couple of reminders uh, while I'm waiting to see if anyone puts anything in the chat. Uh, please, please, please take a moment. Uh, more than half of you, uh, almost like two thirds of you have fallen off your subscription status. Uh, and I'm having to look more and more of you up after our streams in order to record your attendance. It would be so incredibly helpful if yours expired, if you could go back and renew it. Uh, so there's quite a few of you, but like, is it Jamila, Bernaldo, Solomon, um, Kylie, just those of you, those are the ones that have your names in the chat. Uh, I can see that you've lost that status. But if you could just double check that today, um, either now or later in the day, if you're watching this later, I would really appreciate it. Um, again, it makes a huge, huge difference in the amount of work I have to do to find your name. Uh, if you have had this expire, you can go to my channel on Twitch. And I can't show you on my channel, so I'll show you one more time on my friend's channel. But remember that if you're on my channel, um, so let's look at my buddy Sticker G just as an example. So if you're on my channel, you can see here, here is the page. I'm going to see if I can make this smaller just for a minute um, so you can see it. Because for whatever reason, it doesn't show up. See how there's this little purple bar underneath like the main picture? This little purple subscribe button is right here. And if you click on the drop down menu for that, it's going to bring up this option. I think I can make it bigger now <laughs> that you have this. Uh, but it's going to bring up this little option here in the middle once you click on that drop down. And all the way down at the bottom, sorry, all the way down at the bottom, there's this little selection that says Use Prime Sub. And so if you click on that, um, then you can resubscribe for free with your Prime uh, subscription. And you can see that here at the bottom, Use Prime Sub, subscribe for free with Prime for one month. Remember that it's only good for um, 30 days. So uh, you likely have expired at this point and need to renew that. Um, if you're, oh, you're good, you can't see it on your end. I was just hoping it's right underneath the main picture. So um, if yours is expired, please take a few minutes to go through and do that. Uh, you'll probably need to do it a couple more times throughout the semester, but it does save me a lot of time. So thank you, thank you so much. Uh, for those of you who take the time to do that every week, I really do uh, appreciate it. The other thing I want to remind you of is our next Twitch live stream will be in March. I can't believe that next uh, next week is March. We'll be on Thursday, which is March 3rd at 11 o'clock in the morning, like usual. So our next Twitch live stream will be Thursday morning, March 3rd at 11 o'clock in the morning. And I hope to see you all there. Um, we have uh, definitely quite a few of them left to go, but these two points are going to add up for those of you who are doing it and will hopefully really pay off. So uh, I'm glad that so many of you are taking advantage of that. Um, the last thing is I have your extra credit question to give to you. Um, so let me copy and paste that into the chat so that you can get points for being here with me today. So the uh, week number seven Twitch extra credit question is what does the seven plus or minus two refer to in terms of memory? What does seven plus or minus two refer to in terms of uh, memory? And it looks like, oops, sorry, it, like it copied weirdly on here. So it'd be seven plus or minus uh, two. So I'm just gonna put that in here one more time. And when you're ready to answer that, when you've read everything and you're feeling good and ready to do that, you'll head back over to Canvas. And since we're in week seven, you'll click on optional Twitch extra credit number seven right here in the middle. 
And then up at the top, click on Start Assignment, which will allow you this text box where you can type your response. And once you've answered everything, you'll scroll down and hit Submit Assignment, and you get your little confetti burst um, and hopefully your two points. This is due before Sunday night at 11.59 p.m., uh, but if you answer it early in the week, I do grade them throughout, so uh, you can you can uh, get it get another chance if you get it wrong for some reason. But make sure you're doing these, especially if you're here with me right now live. You want to get those two points. Uh, please double check that subscription status. I really do appreciate you taking the time to do that. Read the chapter in the ebook. Get going on the lecture and the lecture video, the discussion, and all that kind of stuff. Um, I will post the recording right here, hopefully within the hour. Uh, when we're done here, I will start the download and upload, and then I will post it right here uh, for you to watch later on. So uh, I think that's everything that I wanted to go over with you. We will have a little bit longer stream next week since we do have exam number two next week. So if you have any questions about the study guide, bring them with you to the stream next week so I can answer them for you. Uh, I think that should be really helpful. Uh, otherwise, what I will do is I will hang out for a little while. If you have any questions for me at all about this week or the material, I am here and happy to answer it. Uh, if you don't, you are welcome to take off. But I hope you all have a wonderful week and a wonderful day. Stay warm. It's still a little bit chilly. It's going to warm up soon, but, uh, but for now it's a little cool. So stay warm. Take care of yourselves. And uh, I will hope to see you all next Thursday morning. Thank you as well. And uh, have a fantastic week. Uh, stay safe, stay healthy, and I will hope to see you next week. I'm going to minimize my video just so I'm not staring at myself. Uh, but I will hang out for a little while if you do have uh, any questions that I can answer for you. Thank you, too. Thank you for being on here. Thank you, thank you. Thank you as well. And yeah, if you didn't put your name in the chat at some point, please make sure to, uh, to do that so you get credit for being here.
All right, it looks like just about everyone has logged out. So I'm going to close this up so that I can go ahead and start to download and upload. But if you think of any questions, feel free to reach out. Have a wonderful week and I'll see you all next Thursday.